What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Paper Mario. In the last part we made it to Dry Dry Outpost and in this part... Let's chase that mouse! Let's chase that mouse! And if we uh, well, if we check the item shop... Temporary close. So if we check the item shop... And if we go... It looks like, uh, what does he have to say? Someone who gives things is nice. Yes, very, very nice. Nice things told you, told nice stuff. Uh, give something? Uh, let's give... We don't need a honey syrup anymore. Ah, uh, you gave me something, that's be nice. If you're a very nice guy, you give me something more? No. So, yeah. I guess that's what he for. So, um, I just have to chase back the mouse. Welcome, traveler. This is the renowned little mouse shop of Dry Dry Outpost. We were to, well, we have to check a few things. So, uh, let's check the lime, the lemon, and let's check, um, let's check the ultra shroom. And finally, let's check the fire flower. That's all we have to do for now. So, um, First of all, for later purposes, we're gonna have to buy a couple of dried pastas. I believe we need to buy two of them. And we're gonna check both of them. All right, so. Wait, did I check both of them? Yeah, I did. So, uh, yeah. And in order to complete this puzzle, you need to buy a dried shroom and a dusty hammer in this order. What ho? Find a dusty hammer after a dry shroom. That's the secret sign that only the friends of Mr. Mustafa know. That means you were in with Mustafa. Hey, brother, good to meet you. Have any questions you need answered? You want to see Mr. Mustafa? He's usually up on the highest part of dry dry outpost. Just keep going up, my man. Now we're gonna sell both of these because we don't need them. Dusty hammer only does one damage to an enemy, and dry shroom only does. Uh, what am I trying to say? It only really does. It only heals one HP. Now, there's actually one really beneficial thing we can get in Dry Dry Outpost. Um, it's uh, over here. If we talk to this person. Hello, welcome. Where are you? Feeling jolly? Feeling blue? I'm Merly. You see, that's me, a cuter gal. You'll never see I do magic, but not for free. You're lucky to see you well, so I'm a master of the spell. When my spell upon you glows, you might be a luckier. Who knows? You care to take a chance? Yes. Oh, how lovely. Very good. But check one now, if you would. I'll pay as much as I could. Now, the more you pay, the longer the curse, the, the, the longer the spell's gonna last. We're gonna go with the 50 coins. Alrighty, tally-ho, and here we go. I think you'll find this power might get you foes to cower, so it will let you darkest hour. Even you should meet a beast, do not fear in the least. My spell makes a fam fame and feast. See you then. Please come again. P goodbye, my friend. Anyway, so that's, um, now we have to go to Mr. Mustafa, who is no longer guarding that door. So I guess what we can do now is go see Mr. Mustafa and make sure to grab this letter over here. And now there's Mr. Mustafa. How'd you get here? Who told you how to find this place? Yes, Mustafa's my name. When I'm out and about in Dry Dry Outpost, I use the name Sheik. You look nice enough. I'm a good judge of character. I've been watching you for you since you were, came to town. I still can't believe you found me without being told. I think you must have extremely good luck, yes? Yes, your name is Mario. Yes, I heard that you weren't to go to Dry Dry Ruins. I have a feeling that you are an important jury. I will tell you uh, the secret. Dry Dry Ruins is a very important place. My ancestors have watched it for many generations. If I do not keep evil folk out of the ruins, who will? You must promise me you will tell no one the secret. I'll give you this. The Pulse Stone. The closer you get to Dry Dry Ruins, the faster it flashes. This Pulse Stone is the key to finding Dry Dry Ruins. Take it to the desert, yes. The Pulse Stone will flash above your head as you get close to the ruins. The closer you get to the ruins, the faster the Pulse Stone will flash. Follow where it leads you. 
Find the place where the pulse stone flashes the fastest and use it to open the way. Anyway, so now we have to basically use the pulse. Now that's all we can really do in Dry Dry Outpost. So I guess we can basically, I guess we can go to Dry Dry Desert or try to see if we can find Dry Dry Ruins. However, um, now there is, um, I'm going to switch to Paracarrier just really quickly because remember that letter we got in Dry Dry Outpost? Uh, let's just say... Hello, fellow travelers. I'm in the middle of a journey, as just as you appear to be. If you go southeast from here, you'll reach a beautiful desert oasis where the lemon and lime trees grow. It's nice and cool. It's really the best place to have a rest, but many enemies plague the surrounding area. If you plan on reaching the oasis in one piece, be careful. Traveling Normandy Mouse, correct? The name's Paracarry. I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang a moment. Another letter duly delivered. A postman's job is never done. A letter to me from Mustafa? I have not the name, but I can't remember who he is. Anyway, thank you for delivering it. I'm surprised that you found me way out here. It's extremely hot traveling in the desert, so take care. Oh yeah, take this as my thanks. Don't hesitate, please take it. We got a star piece. Anyway, so the more, the closer you get to Dry Dry Outpost, the Dry, not Dry Dry Outpost, the Dry Dry Ruins, the more this is gonna flash. So, um. So it looks like, yeah, it looks like we're getting warmer. So uh, it looks like we're getting a little bit more warmer. However, there's one enemy I have not shown yet. It doesn't since we want to fight many of these because they have a chance of dropping a certain item. We have not fought these enemies yet. These are the um, pokies. Now, um, ooh, we get to see the first of the spell. Now this, is, this boosts our attack. Oh yeah, pwned. And I believe Cooper can also one-shot this because he's upgraded. Actually, not not quite. But uh, one more attack should do it. So yeah, we want to fight a few of these until they drop a uh, certain item which we have not seen yet. So I'll see you guys when they drop the item. No item here, but we are getting closer to the ruins, so I want to get that item, though, so, um... No item here. And no item here. We're out of FP, too, so I'll wait a little bit to use that maple syrup. No item here, so this might take a while, so... Wait, there's one more, um... There's one more of those pokies, so we'll check with this guy. Maybe four times the charm. No item here, so we're gonna have to go looking elsewhere. Thank God I think there's a, uh... Well, this is the location of, uh, Dry Dry Outpost, of Dry Dry Ruins. Anyway, however, before we go in the ruins, I still want to get that item, so thank god there's a healing block over here, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna cut until I get that item out of those enemies. There we go, these enemies have a, uh, small chance of dropping the dried fruit, which, uh, is gonna be an item we're gonna need for, uh, a tasty recipe later on, so, um... Yeah, so I'm gonna go back to a uh, dry dry outpost and put that in the shop. So I'll see you guys in a second. Oh my God, Chuck Quizmo's there. Who oh, is? It's everyone's favorite quiz master, Chuck Quizmo. Want to try the quiz? Yes. Then let's get to the question. Question: What color pants was the Gimme King wearing? Red and white. Correct. 
Congratulations. Here's your star piece. You've correctly answered four questions so far. Good luck next time. Well, well, so long. Farewell till we meet again. Anyway, so now back at Dry Dry Ruins, it's suddenly daylight again. So, um... Let's uh, go inside. I'm not sure if we're gonna do all of Dry Ruins. It's not a very long area. Blur, blur. I am the huge scary Tutan Koopa, remorseless king of the desert. Who dares set foot in this palace of the sand? Squeak and be known. Before this place, before, be gone from this place now, or disaster will befall you. And so let's do a bad check really quick. Uh, let's see, I have three, um. I think uh, I'm doing pretty good. Um, I think we're gonna throw on HP plus and I'm just gonna go back out and uh, heal myself. This is the first time I'll have more than 10 HP in a run, but uh, but yeah, I think I'm more comfortable going in this place with 15 HP than I am with 10, but let me just double check my badges really quick. Okay, Quake Hammer's fine, Speed's been fine, Damage Drop's fine. So yeah, these look like solid badges. These are going to be new enemies. Um, these enemies are the uh, Pokey Mummies. These are the Pokey Mummies, which uh, are very much like the earlier Mummies, except they can poison you. So be careful. Poison is a very is a very is a first of our status conditions. And if you have the Feeling Fine badge going in here, maybe it's not a bad idea to go grab the Feeling Fine badge. We're already over halfway to a level up, and uh, yeah, if we go over here, we get another the Spike Shield badge, which, um, believe it or not, I think I'm going to get rid of Damage Dodge and uh, replace it with, uh, yeah, it's either going to be Spike Shield feeling fine, um, let's do feel, let's do feeling fine. All right, so now uh, we're not gonna fight that other pokey mummy, so um, we're gonna go get the key. Now I'd say, believe it or not, I believe Cooper is the best party member to use in this area because if you if you all if you super, if you power rank Bombette, she gets to attack all enemies. Yes, but like it also takes six FP, so like we're not really equipped to do that much of an attack at this point in the game multiple times. So like. This part of the game, believe it or not, I actually do prefer to use Cooper over Bomb Matt, and that's why I upgraded him first. Fool, you have ignored my warning, haven't you? H haven't you? F you fool. You will fall to my legions and become a mummy of the sands. And we're actually gonna need to switch. Actually, new enemy. These are the uh, Buzzy Beetles. They're very much like the Koopa Troopas, only that they uh, have uh, they have a uh, lot. They have a line defense, which means if we shell toss them, well, it'll have, it'll have a one. It'll have it actually has two lines of defense and two lines of attack. So um, we'll just uh, use a normal jump and then just spin like that, and he should be down. Yeah, Buzzy Beetles are can be pretty annoying enemies to this point in the game. We actually do need to switch to para carry over here, so um believe it or not, this area is actually in the demo of the game. And uh let's switch to bomb at and uh And once we get rid of this uh Basically, the sand's gonna fall. It's gonna make that key ex reachable. Otherwise, it wouldn't be reachable. Make sure you get that star piece, by the way. We've got eight star pieces so far in this chapter. And we got another ruins key. So, um, yeah. This area isn't really too long. So, I'd say, like, we could maybe get through this in one part. We're gonna use the ruins key. No message. So um, yeah, that block over there we could um hold on a second um, 
This is uh, one of the main mechanics of this of dry runes that uh, these the switching strip. However, we cannot break this block with our normal hammer, so we're gonna have to find something to do. So, um, if we hit this block. All right, so. Yeah, um, we're gonna, um, we're gonna fight these, like, normal enemies. We want to save our PP for some of these later enemies, I will say. Because even if we're not using FP, we're doing a solid 5 damage, so yeah. It's probably good I equip the feeling fine better on, because if you miss the Oxy Command you, with those attacks, you do get poisoned. We're actually already almost to a level up, which is very solid. Alright, uh, first strike, and, um... We're now gonna use the Quake Hammer Badge, because, uh, this new enemy right here is, um... It actually doesn't say the name of the enemy, so, um... So, yeah, these are the first up-in-the-air enemies, where we need the Quake Hammer Badge, basically, to put it down. And Cooper can only attack this first mummy, so let's just do that. Also, if you fail to miss that tump, if you fail to miss that action command, uh, that the enemy will just heal itself. Alright, we already got 77 XP, so... And it looks like there's gonna be more of these, so, um... We'll just quit. Well, I'm just, we're just gonna Quake Hammer then Power Shell. And we time the action command, thank god. So, um, yeah, we're almost out of FP, though. Eight, we're 86 star points, so a couple more battles will get us a level up. And when since we defeated all the enemies, our ruins key appears, so that can get us through the locked door. So we're going to need to switch to para carry to get across that gap. Oh, uh, wait. Come on. Don't go in that room. Oops. I mean, flew now while well, you still can. If you continue, you'll feel a horrible curse. Anyway, so the, as the sign says, there's going to be a treasure chest in that treasure chest in that upper area. So yeah, we might as well go and uh, see what we can do. We're actually, believe it or not, are already like at the halfway point. So like, I believe this will be like a 30 something minute video, but it'll take care of all of Dry Dry Ruins. Now we just gotta go up here. Now, we, now, one thing about this area, drop down uh, here. Yeah, it's around here. Actually, it's not around here. Yeah, it is around here. Then there'll be a hidden chest that contains a uh, slow go badge, which makes Mario move slower. First time I ever 100% this game, I forgot to get this badge. So let's just say go grab that. You got the super hammer, the tower of the cat, the attack power of Mars hammer increases. On top of that, you can now destroy stone blocks. So we can now destroy, get rid of these blocks. And our hammer attack increases, so that's very solid. We're almost out of FP though. We should be able to get a level up out of this though. And if we, go, if we use Blomet, um, we'll get able to get out of here. And there's another, there's another, there's another, there's another upgrade block. There's another, uh, what is it? Uh, the block, super block is what it is. We're gonna upgrade Paracarry this time. This is what I, he's the one I recommend upgrading in this area. So yeah, we're gonna use Bombat to get out of here in this area. And I guess we'll switch back to Paracarry because he's upgraded and Bombat isn't. And 
And these are new enemies. These are other than these are other than stone chomps. They have two they have two points of defense, or actually one point of defense, but um other than that, they're not too bad. Wow, he actually almost took us out. But um well he just well, I failed the action man more what I meant. But they're not too bad our enemies, and plus they drop five XP, so they block they drop five star points. I keep calling star points XP, but um yeah, one more battle will get us a level up. I'd say Cooper might be better a better option to fight these guys though, because like um they have one point of defense. If, and now we have the diamond stone. Which one of the three main items you get here? We have to kind of backtrack to get one of the other ones though. So like um However, I'm not going to cut yet because uh, there's a little thing. There's that artifact up there that Colorado wanted. So uh, because we're doing a completionist run and because we're being the nice guys we are, we're going to go and get the artifact. You don't have to get the artifact, but if you're doing a 100% run, you're going to have to get the artifact. So let's go for a level up. Alrighty, so here's our next level up, and believe it or not, the what I'm actually going to increase is uh, this is actually gonna be my first FP increase because um, and, and we're gonna do a badge readjust. Um, I don't think we, we're not gonna really need Quake Hammer anymore, and uh, we don't need Feeling Fine anymore. So I guess what we can use is uh, I guess the badges we can get in this place are Close Call and Damage Dodge. Yeah, sounds about right. Actually, let's um. Let's put refund and damage dodge. Anyway, another one, another fight with the change traps. Now, uh, oh wait, I, I unequipped Quake Hammer. <laughs> but no worries, because Cooper can take these out. This time I timed the action command. So yeah, now we have 20 FP, which is very solid for this part of the game. So yeah, basically the bulk of these level ups is I'm gonna go up with, I'm gonna go all in with FP and BP, and like the more, the once I get BP to the max, that's when I start to get HP up. We're and we're at uh, level six, which is average for this part of the game. So yeah, we got the. Uh, so if we, when it comes to the key items, we got um, kind of the key items. We got the pyramid stone, the diamond stone. So there's one more stone we have to get in this area. Believe it or not, it's not far within our reach. Actually, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna unequip refund and then just I'm gonna unequip refund and then come back with a uh, quake hammer just for now. Anyway, so there's gonna be a switch, and um, there's gonna be a switch that reveals a staircase. I just, I just got a Twitch follower. That's really nice because I'm still recording this through OBS. Um, now there's gonna be a new enemy in this area. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so this is what we need Quake Hammer for. So um. These are Buzzy Beals that are up in the air, so like the last of the new enemies in this area. Let's use a power shell. And we uh, took no damage because we have uh, we have damage dodge on, so that's really nice.
Alrighty, so that's the last thing normal enemies we can fight in. That's the last of the enemies we can fight in this in Dry Dry Ruins. So, um, I'm actually gonna switch to Paracarry, believe it or not, because he's gonna be a better option for fighting the boss than Cooper will be. And that's why I upgraded Paracarry. So now we're gonna use the Ruins key. And this kind of gives us a hint on what to you on what places to put these uh, stones in. So we might as well start out with that. Let's put the diamond stone here, the di the diamond stone here, and uh, the uh, pyramid stone there. So um, yeah, so that's gonna get us. That's gonna get us to where we are. And then we get the lunar stone. That's the final stones in this area. Then we have the battle. So let's just quake hammer and. Uh, Probably should have just stayed with Cooper, but uh, Paracarry should take him out. Yeah, because they have four HP. All right, so that's twenty-four star points. So um, yeah, and um. This time, for real, I don't think we need Quake Hammer anymore. So, uh, actually, we'll keep Quake Hammer. Because we might need it for the next chapter. So, uh, Quake Hammer is actually a really solid badge for early game. Because it does 2 damage and it attacks all enemies. So, we use Lunar Stone. Now there's a healing block, so, um, yeah. As long as you go into where I am, so, um, if you... Make sure to have 15 HP and 20 FP, or, like, even 15 FP for this boss. Make sure you have power jump, make sure you have damage dodge, you should be fine. This is not a very hard boss. This is your final war, enough of this foolish, just leave it once. Blah, <laughs> You, you ignored all those very scary warnings. Do you have the common sense to scared and run away? What's wrong with you? You shouldn't mess with Tutan Koopa, a faithful follower of King Bowser. Oops, I mean, you shall regret this. Now, focus all on power jump and shell shot towards Tutan Koopa, and you should be able to win this. If you have 15 HP or, or God forbid, 20 FP. <laughs> Come chomp, come bite this intruder. You can bite, you can attack the chomp for extra FP, extra star points, but I don't really think it's necessary. Because Tugan Koopa doesn't have that much in terms of HP for a boss. We're gonna shell shot. And I did, I failed the action command, but uh, I think a couple more hits should do it. And that was it! That right there is how to obliterate Tutan Koopa. He didn't get to do his main attack. No! Oh, come here, Chompy. What? What are you. Help!
Thus, Mario Par Party unearthed the legendary Dry Dry Ruins deep within the Dry Dry Desert. They smashed Toot and Koopa the Wizard and freed Maymar, the second of the wish granting star spirits. But they enemies awaiting Mario are even stronger, and the challenge is more difficult. What's in store for Mario and his friends? Where will their adventure make them next?